Hello everyone, welcome to the introduction of a new series. Uh, for a while now, well for a few months at least, I've been collecting and putting together uh, these things. Gundams. Gundam kits. Uh, specifically the 1 in 100th scale uh, Master Grade. Now, um, my very first Gundam kit was this guy, the original Gundam. Um, I can't remember its name, I know that's there it's like RX something. I apologize about that. Uh, but this is a 1 in 144th scale and this is the 1 in 100th scale. Um, the reason it's got no arms at the minute is because I'm going through doing all the panel lining, so panel detailing. Uh, so you see the difference? And that's this is uh, Gundam Exia from Gundam Double O. Now there are several scales in Gundam kits. You've got the one 144th scale, got the one one in 100th scale, uh, the one 160, and the one 148. There are others, but those are like the main ones. And you've got like high grade, real grade, master grade. Uh, the high grade and real grade tend to stick to the 144 scale, I believe. Uh, and the difference is, oh, you've also got perfect grade, which is the 1 in 160 scale. Um, speaking of 1 in 160, I mean, one of my favourite, the, the first Gundam series I ever watched, all the way through, was Gundam Double O. I know some people don't like it, but I do. How this arrived yesterday. Gundam Exia, 160th scale. Uh, a couple of reasons I started off with this, because of the price. £50, whereas um, the, the next cheapest uh, kit was about 150 and I wasn't really prepared to spend that. As I said, this is the 1 in 100th, 1 in 100th scale Exia. This is the 1 in 160th scale Exia's foot. Next to, yeah, you see how big this thing is going to be. Uh, I've never put one of these kits together before. It looks deceptively simple, but I suspect it's going to be interesting. Um, she was a bit of a pain to put together, and as you can see she's got a bit missing, and I've tried to get her to hold her swords, but her wrist keeps giving way, so I might have to do something about them. I mean, she's fine as she is now. Anyway, yeah, you can take that back bit out, and you can put an LED thing in, because this is the, the engine, otherwise known as the GN drive that powers the thing and gives it its um, thrust and all that cool stuff. Think if in Dalek terms, think of it as a gravity drive. Uh, so this bit here glows green and so does the chest piece. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So the next video will be me putting it together or the next bit will be me starting to put it together. And if you guys like it, I'll continue to do it. If not, I'll just do it off camera and then show you the result. Um, as I said, I do want to start building these kits on camera. So yeah, um, see you in the building bit. Okay, so, uh, first off, I want to say I'm by no means an expert at making these kits, putting these kits together. Uh, I'll probably use terminology that's wrong, say things that are wrong, do things that are wrong, but you know what, I'm just going to record my experiences and if you guys find it entertaining, then so be it. Um, as I've said before, the kit I'm putting together today is the 1 in 160th scale uh, Gundam Exia kit from Gundam Double O, GN001. Uh, this is the 1 in 100th scale, and as I said before, that is the 160th scale's foot. So you see the size difference. Um, yeah, I'm just going to film everything and I'll cut up cut it up into uh, different sections as it's dictated in the manual. Uh, I've got my camera in a position that is sideways to me so if I move it this way it's so I can read the manual. Um, but I'll try and keep everything in the frame. If I don't I apologise. So, um, the section we're going to be doing first is the chest.
And there goes Facebook. Tell people not to message me while I am filming. I could just not open Facebook. Okay, so there we have the first bit of eggs here. Um, I think you, I'm starting to appreciate how big this thing is going to be. Yeah, she's going to be a beast. Um, I'll take some pictures and uh, put them at the end of this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions on improving the video, let me know and I'll do my best to incorporate them into the next video. Um, thanks for watching, guys.